It's been a, a wonderful early spring day, a little bit on the windy side at time. We've seen uh, wind gusts over 30 miles per hour uh, this afternoon, but that dry west southwesterly wind really warmed temperatures up too from the 40s this morning. In fact, as I mentioned, even a couple of upper 30s this morning in some of the colder pockets out in the hill country to the low 80s this afternoon. These are current temperatures 81 degrees out there in Lano and in Marble Falls, 79 down in uh, Blanco, 75 out at the Gillespie County Airport is the coolest reading in the hill country, and that's pretty nice. In the metro area, uh, we've got uh, low 80s in almost every location from uh, Maynard back up to Round Rock and Leander. 80 degrees down in Dripping Springs, too, in our eastern counties, mainly upper 70s at this hour. Bastrop and Smithville coming in at 79. In Austin, it is 83. Skies are clear. 80 degrees out at our airport. Uh, the dew points are still pretty low. Relative humidity on the low side, so it'll be another cool night tonight. Winds are southerly at 9 to 18 miles per hour at the present time, coming down just a little bit from their peak earlier in the day. Sunset is about a quarter to 8 tonight. In the pollen count, I know there are a lot of you visiting our allergy clinic, Allergy and Asthma Associates, who count the grains of pollen under the microscope for us every afternoon. Uh, they said they are busy right now, and you can see why. Mold high, oak. 5,000 plus, uh, very high. Mulberry at 63 is medium. Hackberry at 47 is low. And we have two more, sycamore and willow today, adding up uh, to the low category there, the upper end of the low category, by the way. Around Texas, uh, pretty warm in most locations, at least from uh, Waco southward. In fact, 90 in Laredo, but that upper level low still spinning around, bringing the clouds, occasional rain, cold weather, or cooler weather anyway, from Abilene up into the Amarillo area. Dallas only at 60 right now. And this low, this is the same low that started bringing us thunderstorms on Monday night. Here it is Thursday, and it's moved only from New Mexico to Oklahoma. But it is finally beginning to lift uh, out of the state now. And being on the south side of this low is a pretty good place to be because we're having some really, really nice weather over the next several days as a result. Now, winds will return to the south again tomorrow, then remain that way into next week. That's going to begin to transport in some low-level moisture. Certainly by Saturday morning, we may be back into the situation where you wake up to low clouds in the morning, maybe a little bit of light fog, a little bit of patchy drizzle, and then the sun will be out Saturday afternoon and for the next several days. In fact, not only plenty of sunshine over the next few days, but temperatures will continue to warm both the morning lows and the afternoon highs through the weekend. Our next chance of rain looks like it'll come in here about next week, and that may be the beginning of another wet period that could take us into early April. We're going to talk more about that right here tonight at 6 o'clock, so join us again then. First, a look at our lows tonight, uh, upper 40s and low 50s. A Temperatures just a bit above where they've been the last couple of nights. And then tomorrow afternoon, pretty close to where we were today with high temperatures again topping 80 degrees. In Austin, our skies are expected to stay clear overnight. Wind still south-southwesterly, shifting to the north late, about 5 to 10 miles per hour. And our low in downtown, about 52. But again, some rural areas could dip into the 40s. Tomorrow afternoon, 82. Northerly winds then shifting to the south-southeast, where they will rem remain for the next uh, week or more. On the seven-day forecast, you'll see what impact that south wind will have. Again, the warmer mornings, lows not below 60 degrees after Sunday, afternoon highs into the middle 80s this weekend. Then they'll come down just a little bit only because we have more humidity next week. And we'll begin to see at least a chance of a rain shower each day starting on Tuesday, Robert.